everybody, Suzanne Spooner. I am a QHHT level three practitioner. And for those of you that may not know of me or um, follow my channel, which I hope you will, um, I do hypnosis sessions that get people into this very deep state of relaxation or hypnosis. And we access the all knowing part of us, what some call the high self or the subconscious. This is the Dolores Cannon method called quantum healing hypnosis technique. So I'm sharing with you just a brief part of a session that I did yesterday on uh, 1010 of 25. And the question was about AI Atlas and the information was amazing and profound. I am going to include just a couple of minutes prior to me asking about AI Atlas so that you can get a flavor of this client's amazing high self. She, um, was in so solid and so deep and you'll hear her voice is a little bit robotic which can happen in that really deep state that part of us that knows everything the high self um, has its own vibration and frequency and sometimes tone or cadence and uh, you can hear this this is not how her normal day-to-day -day voice is at all which is a lot of fun and the three eye atlas information is astounding and she gives a beautiful suggestion of how to help you and all of us to have the most amazing experience of what's about to happen. So uh, as her beautiful high self says, we hope that you share this information far and wide, and we hope that it helps you um, in the uh, upcoming times that are um, coming and uh, will elevate us. All right, thank you so much. You can find more information about me at SuzanneSpooner.com and check out my YouTube channel where you can hear full sessions that my clients have uh, graciously allowed me to share with you. All right, enjoy this three eye atlas information and great gratitude to my client for allowing me to share this portion with you. See you later. How has it been for you to be a part of this experience here today? Yes, I am very pleased to finally have a chance to be heard, even though, as I said, I have been speaking to her repeatedly since forever, and for once I get a voice. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? You've done such a great job. Do you think she'll feel comfortable hearing your voice? Yes, but she'll think I'm an old poop. Oh, gosh, that's okay. You've given her so much good, helpful information. That really will change her life if she puts it into action. Yes, indeed. I love her so. <laughs> and how do you see yourself? What how would you describe yourself as a part of her? I am a vast connection to the all. I am past, present, future, the whole of mirrors in every dimension. I am but a speck of dust in the grand scheme of things. I love that. Oh, my goodness. And let's check back in with her body. How is the healing going throughout the body? It is much, much, much more relaxed. There is softness on both sides. The process of healing has begun. Oh, I love that. She's so worthy of that, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> and when she decided to have this session, what did you hope she received from it? I hoped that she would listen to me and understand that when she hears from me, she hears me, and to validate this connection that we already have. I love that. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. And from your perspective, how is the world doing now? It is in a pivotal, crucible moment of change. It is as it should be whenever there is a break from the old to the new. The edges are rough and it may feel very unshaky, unsteady and harsh, but this is all part of the process. 
it's going to be okay. It's quite beautiful, actually. Wow. And do you have any advice for her as things are getting a little crazy out in the physical world? Stay within, keep going within, and finding your source, your connection to all, your knowingness that it's all okay and all as it should be. So mote it be. And can I just ask out of curiosity, do you see anything with this three-eye atlas that you want her to Yes, know? yes. What is being said is actually quite correct in terms of it being as I keep talking about as if Rhea is a stone that accentuates the energy of Claire when they are together or when any group of people are together they create an amplification of their energy this is something that is amplifying all of earth it's like a giant stone passing through the system and sending out a frequency that will amplify our eight frequency. It is great for everyone to try to connect with this system or this object, whatever you wish to call it. It is emanating something of benefit to all of us. It is here to support and reaching out will only further amplify its effects. Lovely. So it's not something to be scared about or worried about? This is not something to be afraid of. This is something here to assist in the transformation of energy in this place. That's so exciting. It is very exciting and so predetermined for so long. It is beyond anything our minds could ever conceive. So do you th feel like it will get close to Earth? It will be close enough to do what it needs to do. It is an amplifier. Wow. So what will it be like for those on Earth when that happens, that amplification? Well, it might be tricky for those who aren't expecting it or have no reference point for these changes in how they feel. It could be quite unsettling for many because they don't know why they feel the way they do. Uh, it is change. Some see it coming, some don't. And change is always or is often traumatic or challenging, even when greeted. Oh, that's so wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Anything else you want to add to that? No, I'm glad you raised that, though, because it is very important that everyone try to reach out and embrace it. This is very, very important. We, you, need to spread the word. Okay, I can do that. That's no problem at all. Wait, I'm just curious, though, then when we when we do spread that that I love and gratitude, I guess, towards it, how does it change and shift what it is? Our energy direction towards it, it is like a quantum interaction. By looking at it, we interact with it, and then it changes with the connection between us and them. And so directing our love and expectation, if you will, towards it, changes it as well. So it sends out energy to us to help us transform. But by engaging with it, we transform it too. Oh, I love that. Okay, gosh, thank you so much for that information. And, and I will get it out. And, and I'm sending lots of love and excitement to this experience that's taken so long to to be here on earth or close to us thank you we are very lucky to be here at this time absolutely dolores like to say we got the golden ticket if we have a body at this time on earth indeed 